Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am wearing a bun of Gabby style. Definitely does not look as good on me as it looks on her. Everyone is down at the barn and I'm going down because there's trouble. You're starting this vlog, this Friday vlog, off with a disaster in the barn. message this morning from Sophie and she said mom guess who's lame and I was like oh my gosh do not even tell me because I'll lose my mind that's right I was about to lose my mind like seriously be a pony I don't want anybody to be lame but if it's gonna be somebody please let it be a pony easier to treat easier to manage and it was it was Willow Willow was lame so then Sam came up to the house and said Willow might die and I was like hmm if Sam can see it, then it must be something. So I'm down here at the barn and we're gonna do an investigation. Pretty good, cleaning the barn. So we just have some front right, and I'm like, don't do that, because then you'll make me look stupid, because it's the front left. Front left? I thought it was the front right, but it wasn't. It's the front left? How bad is it? Dad said she might die. Oh, uh, well she's breaking it like that. <gasps> she drops. Ooh, so. There's no heat on it though. It's, yeah, as soon as I heard that she's really like, Dragging it, I was like, she I bet you it's an abscess. She wouldn't trot, it's right but it's her left. I, I, here's her walking. I bet you it's an abscess. Oh, nice to see you there. Just hanging out. You think it's Father's Day again? Just joking. Every day is Father's Day on the day by day farm. I have to fix my hair. I do not know what happened here. All right, so they said there's no heat. So this is what I was thinking. When I felt the sound, they were freezing cold. All right, so this is what I was thinking. I was thinking like she got hurt at the farrier appointment the other day. Remember, there was, I don't know if there if he punctured her by mistake, if she jerked really. Oh, look at her. I know that horses really exaggerate pain when they're about to burst an abscess. So that's my guess. Not Chino though. Well, this is such a baby abscess. Mm -hmm. Oh, you poor baby. So when she trots, she just walks really fast and drags her left. I'm okay. trying to give her a treat, but then she's running away from All her. right, so I let's, oh, and I know. I it hurts. I like, get off me, Molly. Molly, get off me. Yeah, there's not a lot of heat here, that's for sure. So Fiona says. It's all up her leg, though. Yeah. There's no heat. It's okay. She's scared. She's like, don't touch me. It hurts. Here, Dr. Laura. That Laura who knows nothing. Just call Brandon. No, Fiona told me what to, to look well, for. Sits. Yeah, so we push, I pushed around the hairline. The hairline didn't seem too bad. So you're going to try and, and put a lot of pressure on her, on her soul. Which one? <laughs> I need the hook pick. Grab the hook pick. So, well, that's odd. She doesn't want to stand on it. But we checked with the farrier, checked with the coaches. Definitely think it's an abscess. My biggest clue was when Sam said that it, she looked really bad, then usually like if they go from not lame to dead lame like that kind of lame, it's usually an abscess. So we're gonna run to the store, get some stuff to treat her. Yeah, let's do it. It's not going to be an easy 10 minutes. Go grab her treats. I've kept Look at treats. <laughs> Listen. This is a little princess. This has got to happen. Yeah. Go girl. Go girl. 
Go away, Gracie. So Willow is getting her foot soaked in Epsom salt. Forward. She's not in love with it, but I mean, it's not cold water. It's not hot water. Mm. Remember Storm? We had to put in the- Storm was so good though. And we had to, uh, People came up to me at barn and was like, he's so good for that. He's yeah, like, no. he was so good. He you get treats. Trailer, didn't that day? Yeah. Like, he's so good for that. Like, I mean. Yeah, Storm is- when he makes a hole in his head and you have to freaking treat it. Yeah, like, he's so stoic and so like, good, well, Storm. Well, my mom does all this, I get to have a nap. I'm always trying to eat the Epsom salt thing. Don't eat the Epsom salt. Hey, so. First of all, I know we're gonna get questions of people saying, why didn't you call the vet? Um, and Does my answer to that- We only call the vet if it's necessary. We only call the vet if it's something that a vet needs to treat. So kind of like if we took our kids to the doctor because the they- We have to pay a vet bill for like literally him just telling us to do that. Yeah, our vet. We have called our vet more times to come and treat things. Like when we asked him to check um, our horse the other day, Chino. When we asked him to check Chino the other day, he's like, mm, yeah, he's slightly off. Your farrier said that he had a lot of bruising. Um, he checked, and then checked again, and he's like, yeah, I think he had some bruising. <laughs> like, we call, we've called our vet for some crazy reasons, and uh, this is something, an abscess. Like, there are so many things that you can determine at home. Like, I don't take my kids to the doctor every time they have a sore throat, every time they have a cough, every time they fall down and hurt something. You give it time, you figure it out, you wait, and then you know when you have to call the vet or go to the doctor, and so. parents always literally tell you important things after. Yeah. Like when you hit your head on the table, parents, moms are always like, careful, after you hit your head on the freaking table. <laughs> yeah, right. You're supposed to be careful first, I should have to tell you. Oh, it's I bang my head a lot. So, anyways, like I knew as soon as Sam told me that well, that she me. looked like she was dying, I'm like, I bet you she has an abscess. And as sure soon as I showed our trainer, she's like, mm, I bet you that's an abscess. So we're gonna try and do what we can. It could take, because she wasn't reactive to any pain from me touching her, I honestly feel like it's really high up there. So it's probably gonna take a while to burst, but this is really good learning for us. Also. And it's better if it's not a riding horse. Oh yeah, also shout out to Mel Bowel again for sending us these amazing little buckets. Like, we use them for everything. So now we're gonna sit here for 15 minutes every single morning for the rest of like a good week probably. And we're gonna show you what we're gonna put on her foot to bring out the abscess. I think I'm probably gonna get a lot of questions about that too because I know that you can buy like chemicals and professional treatments for abscesses, but what we're gonna use is an old fashioned homemade remedy that works just as good without the chemicals. Whenever I can be natural, I try to be. You saw a chipmunk in the barn? Yeah. Send him out. Oh, he ran outside. Oh, great. Oh. No, I'm trying to teach Storm how to kiss. <laughs> what are you doing on that poor pony? Get up. Stay. Gabby's just sitting, just sitting and relaxing like Gracie's a couch. And Gracie doesn't mind. Gracie likes to be doing anything fun. Anything with people. Yeah, Gabby rocking her new bikini on the Palomino pony. All right, so we found something. We actually found something. Do you guys notice Tell a difference? So yeah, hold her tight. So over here, Soft, supple, normal. Over here, the biggest lump. It's a huge lump, and that's the side where she's dragging her leg. Do you guys see it? It's massive. I didn't see a lump there. It's a, you should see it. It's a huge lump. That might be where I think that's where the vet. Um, yeah, it's where she got her shot. Yeah, so that must be it. Do you think that could be it? She's all swollen there, and it's like making her when tight. You touch it, she freaks yeah, out. I touched the rest of her whole leg, her foot. We're soaking her foot for. An, abscess that I was sure she had and now I don't know. Well I'm glad I don't have to do all this stuff now. So it turns out that she she got her injection. So you guys saw she got injections the other day and that is so in her chest is where the vet did them but because she's a bit of a she's a bit of a I don't know what you want to call her. She's a bit of a drama queen. So so the vet Put the injections there and it's swollen. I am gonna mix up some butte. 
and we're gonna give her butte. Woohoo! I can't wait to see us do that. Instead of soaking her poor little feet that she didn't really even seem to have any problem with, we are gonna cold hose her injection site and then give her some butte. And that should be interesting. Well, she seems to like the cold hosing. Maybe it feels good. Oh, she's eating the grass. She's like, woohoo! They finally came to their senses. You guys see the big lump? <laughs> So, oh, don't turn it upside down until you're ready. Uh -oh. All right, so you guys are all, we're gonna get a lot of messages again saying we did it all wrong, but we're just giving her the medicine. We're not like playing around with it, giving her all sorts of treats, trying to find some kind of food to put it in. We're just giving it to her. Good girl, she likes it, maybe. It smells like apples. Oh, yay, we thought she was gonna freak out, but really she loved it. Good girl. Girl. I got her syringe one with better edges because it hurt my fingers because I was trying to like squish it and Here. it didn't work. See like that. And I mean, so it's all of our muffins are brand all of our muffins. <laughs> all of our syringes are brand new and are okay, not very very worked through. Yep. Yeah, she can go back. Let's see if she can walk a little better. Great. Oh, oh, it's a little better though. Like you can definitely feel it's better. So he gave her her medicine, her needle, and she jumped and it probably went in the wrong spot. If it gets worse, if our treatment doesn't work, then we'll be calling him to come drain it. His hooves grow so fast. Yeah, hey, handsome. He's like, take me, please. Yeah, Dad filled up the water. Good. He's like, yes, I want to go. Let's see if the boys know and come. We have fly masks, but none of the horses will wear them. Fun! Storm's peeing. Storm Storm's Murphy's Law, I'm gonna get stepped on with my bare feet. I wear boots and socks in the rain. And I leave No, Chino and Vanna. Chino has no manners. Chino I find good. Yeah, but he doesn't know when to stop. All right, call them, see if they come. No, come, on. come on! Storm saying no! Come on! Yeah. Get ready for it. Storm doesn't let anybody win. Doesn't let anybody beat them. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. Wait for it. He's gonna come tearing down. Come on, Stormy. Storm. Here he comes. Here he comes. Watch out. He's running. He's about to run. Here he comes. Told ya. He's mad. See, he doesn't like Finn to be first. Get, watch out, Gabby. Do we know our horse or do we know our horse? No, no. Literally the best horse. Like honestly, such a good I mean, horse. Look at how yeah, we need, need to give him some love. Let's bring him in. Maybe tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day. Don't be fighting. No, Finn. Finn around horses. Oh God, you're a good horse. Gosh, you are a good horse. Poor little pony. <laughs> we'll get you all fixed up. I know I always say pray, even if it seems simple to some people, but for me, calling the vet to come out on a weekend is worth praying for. So please pray. Pray that the swelling just goes down on its own. The butte should help, I think. All right, tell the truth. How many of you guys were like, look at her chest, look at her chest. <laughs> we were videoing her earlier when she was lame. Yeah, Tim said, I bet you it's her shoulder. So I looked at her shoulder and I didn't see anything in her shoulder. Shoulders, chest. He's just like me. See, this is what happens when you get old. Or maybe it's like this all along. No, it's beginners. 
Yeah, it could be because we don't know. So we are headed out. It's Friday during the day. It's supposed to rain for the next two days. So we had a choice. We could ride today, which would have been so much fun for me. Or we could take the puppy to the beach, which is like way more fun for me even. Like, um, you guys know we are starting to try and train uh, Molly. Did I say Ruby? We're trying to train Molly. Molly. And we need to take her away from Ruby sometimes to do that. We've taken Ruby to the beach lots of times. We will take Ruby to the beach again, but today is just a day for Molly to go to the beach again because we're trying to socialize her around other dogs, other people, and the water, and we don't want Ruby to be a bad influence. Ruby is a bit of a bad influence in some things. So I've got all my training stuff. We got the puppy. We have, uh, we have the girls, and we're going to a super fun beach today. If you are an OG member, then you will know we've gone to this beach before. What? bathing suit top just in case this one breaks again. yeah Gabby got a new ba bikini and it is broke. and it's so it's super cute yeah the metal pieces that's annoying if it's like it's just because it bends if the straps can get longer I can take out the metal piece if we have to and just sew the straps together can. The straps are very okay so here we are we got Molly and, it doesn't hurt. and so this beach is a clay beach so basically it's all clay, but it's beautiful. Do you guys see it? <laughs> Step through my foot stay. <laughs> yeah, it'll be so slimy. What do you think, Miss Molly? Okay, Ready for a me. swim? Ooh. So the only thing is, is that clay, wet clay can be slippery, so you don't want to fall, so go slow. Yeah. Why don't you go in this little section? So somebody's wearing her t-shirt because she doesn't want to get... Twice in the car. Twice in the car? You brought a toy to throw in for her? You saw a minnow? It was, no, it was round and very fat. But it was swimming as fast as it could. Is the water warm? I know. The harness off? So Sam and I brought some chairs. We're gonna sit here. Oh. You'll never believe it. I saw Stella. You saw uh, again. When? The bird. You saw the bird, Stella? It's, it's back. All right. It's probably Stella. All right. Always it always the bird. Yeah, Sophie asked God to send her a bird to tell her Stella's okay. Don't drink that yucky. Aw, such a good puppy. Great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself, and I see you shining. Come on, Molly! Come on! <laughs> Happy Bell. <laughs> it goes deep. Come on, puppy! Come on! She's such a good little puppy. Good job, you little rat. Come on! In every color, resting your head in my arms, you seem. Pretty warm because it's it, cold. Is it? <laughs> In the summer city, there's no place on earth I would rather be.
lab just showed up here. Just came running up to the to Molly, jumped in the water. Uh oh, uh oh. Hey, 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 hey! Yeah, he just wants to play. But I mean, there's a way to play and a way to be rude. The girls are now bathing in clay, if you guys can tell. All right, so we've made re friends with the resident dog. See this dog? He just showed up. Somebody's farm dog just showed up, comes to the beach for a swim whenever he wants. We're using him to teach Molly to be friendly to dogs. And all I'm teaching her is to like treats. <laughs> and he wants all my treats. Good girl. Isn't he cute though? I feel like this is what Kaylee's puppy's <laughs> <laughs> what Kaylee's puppy is going to look like one day. A big tank. She so likes the, the white one. The dog came back and brought his friend. <laughs> brought, his, brought his brother. Come on. And Molly <laughs> likes the white one. Because it looks like Ruby kind of. Yeah, maybe. She was licking it's him. It's half shaved. Oh, it's half shaved, the white one. Come on, Mom. Come on, you always scared me. We gotta wash. Um, can I have to get my towel? Can you help me? I don't Wait. want to get any. That's not so. She's like, I'll be your friend. Just don't get so darn close. Wait, I need to put this on. They must just live down the road. Nice dogs though, you can tell they're really well trained. Super nice. <laughs> so one goes in the back and one goes in the front. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Dangerous but cute. Ollie did really well. She uh, likes the water but she doesn't like love it like those labs love it. They, you could tell they live close by here because literally they just came and swam. Like the one dog, the black one swam for an hour. So it's supposed to be super hot again next week and we're gonna, when Sam's at work one day, I'm gonna take a road trip and come with the girls and Kaylee and really explore this area. I found you today, it feels like it's been forever, laughing all day. We spin around, we spin around, your hand reaches my